equips. And armor piercing. Let's give you proximity mine isn't that great. Let's give him one. Because of shock could help. But let's see, uh, I wanna give I wanna make him stronger. So I'll his power damage and uh Squad bonus. Let's see what I'm gonna give you. I'll give you that upgraded uh, proximity mine. I think that should be it. Uh, give yourself some armor piercing. And you take out the mantis. I think he's ready. Well, I guess he's okay. Codex and Associates. Admiral Steve, Admiral Gareth Vakarian is a noted Turian sharpshooter and combat engineer. Hmm. He was born on Palavan and became a Citadel security officer like his father, but left the force when Superior shut down his investigation into the rogue specter Saren Arterius. Vakarian eventually discovered that Saren had been indoctrinated by the Reaper known as Sovereign. Vakarian eventually found his way to the criminal haven of Omega and assumed the name Archangel. Batman! There, he and a small group of operatives worked to disrupt the settlement's powerful mercenary groups until Shepard recruited him. The Turian narrowly survived the second Normandy's attack on the Collectors. More recently, Vakarian has become the head of a Turian task force focused on preparing for the Reaper invasion. Oh, nice. Flight Lieutenant, Dr. Karen Chakra. Dr. AKA the Shadow Broker. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Uh, here. Jay, that you breathe so hard? Adrenaline's better than oxygen. Whoa, Marauder Shield, fuck you and your protective self. Uh, overload. Suck it. Just be what those Reapers look like, Turian. Right. They do. Get it. Get it. Fuck back down. <laughs> Get it. The hammer is a cousin shot. I'm alive again. I recharge by recharge. Hit him. Boom! Right on your ass. Get the fuck back up. Now you want it? I think we're done here. No, we're not. I started to look around. Important now. There we go. Salvage. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus, man. Seriously. A, is that a dreadnought over there? Who here? I mean, seriously. Who here can't... can't you have to admit that the Reaper's sounds are pretty badass. Oh my, Blaze is indoctrinated, you're saying. <laughs> What's 
this? Frags, please. Thank you. Shepard, come in. Go ahead. Still trying to raise the Primarch, but we've got trouble back here at the main barricade. If the Reapers breach it, we're done. On my way. Got it, I got it, I got it. Ooh, level 36. Thank you. I might hold on on that one though. Uh, concussive shot. No, uh, armor piercing. Damage and squad bonus. Squad mates gain your ammo power at 50% effectiveness. No, damage. There we go. All right. I better prepare right now. All right. All right. Who wants some? Get some. Rip your asses anew. Thank you, James. Okay, come on. Who's next? Oh shit. There's a lot of them. Come on, you know you all want it. I can do this all day. Holy shit. Shepard out. Garrus, take me to the last place you saw Victus. Ooh, that was, uh, hectic. I think that's the best way to put it. You know what? Let me go back and check. You never know. Nope, nothing left. How far? Should be pretty quick, unless we find trouble. How many people? Oh my god. Would you look at that? Holy crap! Those fighters aren't even making a dent. I think it's too damn big. That's what she said. <laughs> Slide. Look at Palavin. That blaze of orange. The big one. That's where I was born. Damn. That's rough. Still have family there? My dad. A sister. How bad is it? Three million lost the first day. 
Damn. Five to second. How's your military holding up? Look around. That should give you some idea. You're putting up a good fight. For now. But how long does it take before the fight's kicked out? If they'd only listen to your warnings about the Reapers, we might have been ready. Hey, hard to figure how you prepare for something like this. That's why you bring the Death Star. But I don't even know if that's enough. Big ass ship right up there. Look, compare the Reapers with that ship. Jesus Christ. Hello. How do you how do you fight something that huge? Got more back here. Done. Oh, damn, Garrus. Shit, I hate those things. These bastards? Uh, I never should have left Earth. It's gonna be bad all over. Leaving the fight just pisses me off. But you're here asking Victus to do the same thing. Leave the fight to make nice in some boardroom. This summit is the only chance we've got. None of us is beating the Reapers alone. Amen to that. <laughs> Whoa! There goes another ship. Ooh. I was expecting soldiers. one of those harvesters you okay? to you know, pick yes, one of these soldiers up. Have you seen General Victus? Half hour ago. So. Okay, close up. Yes, sir. Not sure. Sounds right. Hard to see a beautiful ship like that. Not to mention the men serving on her. Yeah. Yeah. We should go. <laughs> we said the Primarch we was should go. <laughs> Whoa! Jesus. That was a little closer than I'd like. I'll say. No survivors. Damn it. Crash like that is not surprising. Oh, damn. I can just imagine Mobius 1 enduring like that. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> Back on Earth. It was Mobius 1. That was Mobius 1. Okay, may he rest in peace. Didn't last that long, did he? <laughs> so, Loco, you really think this summit will work? I mean, sorry? Where's the Krogan and Batarians? Where's the meat? It's not that easy. The Batarians took the first thing when the Reapers arrived. Not much left of them. And the Krogan have never forgiven us for the Genophage. Right. Turrets sterilized them. Tolerians Cut them balls. And the Krogan hate them both for it. So they won't be like us. Too bad. I fought with the Krogan. They're tough sons of bitches. Krogan's ancient history. Genophage. We already know about the Genophage. If you guys don't, uh, ask me and then I'll make a separate video of every single lore if you guys want. Damn. I like the sheer amount of, you know, the sheer distance you have to travel and crap makes, it makes, you know, the game pretty easy. Long. That sounds bad! Okay, double time! No Reapers taking this Primarch from me! Go, 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 the camp. Shoot for the Wupa! Ah, uh, that was Can you kill Marauder Shields for me, please? Gotcha. Where's that one weapon? Move into the compound. Move 
Oh, I see something I don't like seeing. Is it? Woo. Ole, bitch. Ole. Ole. You love it. There it is. Oh, shit. Suck it down. Suck it. Uh, there we go. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. There we go. Suck it down! Look, Grim. It's been a brutal fight for these guys. But the tide's turning. Turn up the heat! Suck it! Suck my frags! Suck my frags! Shit, Marauder Shield! Fuck you! Let's bring the goddamn bastards to their knees! Roger that! Woo! Marauder Shield, you are trying to piss me off. Oh shit. Shit, shit, shit. Is he dead? Sweetness. Okay, that's it, Marauder. You and your brothers are dead. The Marauder Shield 4 is going down. Go melty. Yeah, melt and melt into goo. That's him. General Victus. Yes? I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Not Commander. I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. Vicarian, where did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank. I believe your exact words were, get that thing the hell off my men. Appreciate it. General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Fedorian was killed. You're the new Primarch. How you're nice. needed immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. That is a nice ass view. I'm Primarch of Palavan. Negotiating for the Turian hierarchy. Yes. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> What's the hesitation? What makes you think you're not qualified? I'm not really a by-the-book kind of guy, and I piss people off. Good. My family's been military since the Unification War. War is my life. It's in my bones. But that kind of passion is deceptive. It can make you seem reckless when you're anything but. You sound perfect. War is your resume. At a time like this, we need leaders who've been through that hell. I like that. You're right. And honestly? Uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. See this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. That's a big request. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. Sweet. I'm so influential. Without him down here, there's a good chance we lose this move. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? 
Failed CSEC officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? Think you can win this thing, Shepard? I yeah, know I can. I don't know, Garrus. But I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, I'm with you. Welcome aboard. Are you ready, Primarch Victus? Bodies till the end. One thing. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavan... That's a pretty tall order. So is the, we need so the Krogan. Uh, oh. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan. Looks like your summit just got a lot more interesting. That's nice. <laughs> this is gonna complicate shit even more. The Asari have been down this road before, Commander Shepard. But, Madam Counselor, let me... I tried to smooth things over with the Salarian Dalatras. To say she's upset would be a monumental understatement. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Sad to say, but any effort to ally these disparate groups seems doomed to failure. And I'm sure you understand that we cannot afford to waste time with the Reapers knocking at our door. This must be my final word. I'm sorry, but the Asari will not be at your summit. What a Our alliance bitch. would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. I wish you luck, Commander. What a bitch! Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on Bitcom. Sir Cash. Sir Cash? What else, Sir Cash? Paramount Victor has called for a war summit and has taken the unusual step in including the Krogan. Rendezvous with the Selenian ship for the use of the Normandy as a neutral ground for the summit. Commander, have you retrieved the Primark for your summit? Yes, sir. But the Asari are staying on the sidelines. They'll regret that. The time for unity is now. The Salarians will be there, though. You don't sound very optimistic. We expect the Krogan will be joining us, too. <laughs> I see. Well, then you've got your hands full, Commander. Was there something else you needed to discuss? Conversation! The attack on Earth. Have you pieced together how the Reapers hit Earth? It wasn't all that complicated, really. They surged through the relays and hit Arturus Station before we knew what was happening. From there, it was a short jump to the Sol System. Earth didn't stand a chance. Glad we went to Mars. And, but I still have not met Marvin the Martian. I think he died. Either that or he became indoctrinated. <laughs> Sending us to the Mars Archives was a good call. Still doesn't make up for the fact that the Reapers nailed us to the wall. I sacrificed the entire second fleet to provide cover for the third and the fifth to retreat. Hell, I presided over the most devastating military defeat in human history. St strategy of the war. How do you see us winning this war, Admiral? By making you the tip of the spear. I'm flattered, but the Normandy's just one ship. And a fast one. You can move quickly, hit a target, and leave before the enemy has time to react. That's just one battle. It's an advantage, but can it win a war? It's the larger principle that matters. We'll never defeat the Reapers in a full frontal assault, Shepard. The battle against Sovereign three years ago took everything we had, and that was just one Reaper. I haven't forgotten. So I'll find their soft spots, avoid them where they're strong, and hit them where they're not. And when I find gaps in the armor, I'll hammer them with every soldier's ship and bullet we've got. <laughs> Would that be enough? How long can we keep that up? As long as it takes. The reality is, Shepard, everything I'm doing is a delaying action for you. I'm buying us time, keeping us in the game while you gather what we need for this Prothean device. So keep at it. Prothean device. Has your analysis of the Prothean device turned up anything? The R appears to be right. It's a weapon of some sort. A big one. Beyond that, we really can't say, other than it's going to be a hell of a thing to try and build. The risk it poses. Oh, simple. It'll destroy all of life as we know it. <laughs> similar to the Flood. No, similar to Halo. Do you think it's risky? Building something like this when we don't even know what it does? To be honest, the thing scares the hell out of me. But the Reapers have forced our hand. 
Two centuries ago, scientists faced the same problem in the Second World War. They weren't sure what the atomic bomb might do. Some thought it could even ignite Earth's atmosphere, but they did it anyway. Cerberus. Any updates on Cerberus? There's still the wild card here. Hitting the archives on Mars suggests they're after the same thing we are. A way to defeat the Reapers. It didn't seem as if the elusive man was suggesting we appease them. Not like Saren did. You'd think we'd be on the same side, now more than ever. Cerberus has never played by the rules as we know them. I don't know what their agenda is, but it has nothing to do with humanity's best interests. Controlling the Reapers. The elusive man talked about controlling the Reapers. He seemed to think that's how we win this. Is wrong. Dead Reapers are how we win this. Doesn't mean he won't try. I saw your report on that Cerberus soldier you found on Mars. If the elusive man is good at one thing, it's finding new ways to subvert science. It's never worked for him before, and it won't now. All right, that's it. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship, and for going along with this plan. Gareth said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibration. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Garrus. I'm sorry to say the Asari Counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right, but there'll be a lot more blood. Real blood, if we don't try. When you put it that way. The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? Mass conversations. Turians help for Earth. I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. Your new duties. How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Palavan, and I'm light years away, reading casualty reports in the millions. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men. So there's no doubt we fought to the last soul. I can relate. <laughs> I understand. Leaving Earth to save it. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm not surprised. Garrus speaks highly of you. You never asked to be a leader. Yet your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. Palavan situation. How are things on Palavan? The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. My civilization. Nothing more. Thank you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Palavan. And mine with Earth. Let's check the war terminal. Damn, I'm already past. I'm already ready for, for it. <laughs> 1230. Effective military strength. Not enough to get a very good uh, ending, but I can beat the Reapers. Alright, Eden Prime. Few researchers who study Prothean technology on Eden Prime pr avoided capture by service there. Forward copies of their work to the Alliance hoping it will build the Prothean device found on Mars. Although its military defenses were seriously damaged by service invasion, Eden Prime's remaining government has loaned the Alliance several class supply freighters. Eden Prime's colonists drove Cerberus away from their system entirely. With its shipping lines secure, the colony is sending out as many supplies and equipment as it can spare. Alright, Crucible, Javelin Missile Launcher, Prothean Data Files, X Cerberus, Cerberus Reacher Data, Turian's, Turian 79th Flotilla. Alright, whoa! Commander, Gigi just went offline. What do you mean, offline? 